Hi there, Cosm family. My name is Jehli Ali in this incarnation. Well, we just went through the full moon in Scorpio. We are uh, closing energetically the eclipse season. These weeks of April were very, very shaky. Um, but officially we close the, um, the season with the next new moon. So remember that the manifestation of the full moon in Scorpio uh, continues the whole week, but we have the tendency to feel it before being the day of the lunation, the um, energetic peak. So with all the movement in Taurus, um, this energy is felt very, very physical. The conjunction of Jupiter and Uranus in Taurus is the download of information to our physical body. That's what we are receiving. Um, on the other hand, tomorrow, April 25th, uh, Mercury in Aries awakens the planet of the exchanges of information. So as I commented on Sunday, uh, the, the moment that it starts and the moment that it, it ends the retrogradation are the, the times where we feel it the most because it is stationary. So it, it seemed to not move. Um, from the 26th on and on, it is a good moment to, you know, to take decisions with a more clarified mind. And because it is going to awaken... Uh, near the North Node, in a conjunction with the North Node. This is about evolutionary decisions, uh, a direction that the soul is determining with respect uh, to themes that uh, emerged in the eclipse areas. But now with the soul, with the soul, <laughs> with the sun in Taurus, I am mixing languages again. Um, with the sun in Taurus, the energy is about giving form, uh, creating stability stability with quotation marks because from the next new moon uh, that is going to be in in may 8 uh, we are going to have activations of jupiter and uranus and uranus is not a planet that is linked with with stability it is a disruptive planet but as i commented in videos before i think we are in times in which we have in where we have to learn to um, understand that stability could not be tied to what is happening outside. It is more linked with the way we are going through the processes uh, because we are in a planetary ascension and changes are going to continue and are going to increase too. So um, to be in touch with this information and to do our inner labor to re-equilibrate in their different movements and moments of life it is what what we can do it is um you know in in our power but uh, the rest it, it is not in our control uh i think it is linked with uh letting go of the fear letting go of the fear to lose letting go of the fear to fail and the way to let go of fear is not rejecting fear either, uh, is allowing love, reconnecting to the confidence, the trust in, in ourselves. And that if we respond to the cosmic calling of our inner truth, that is what the uh, conjunction of Jupiter and Uranus means, practicing connecting with with higher intentions behind our acts of genuine love. And this is a detection that we are doing along the way because we are get it, getting rid of, of layers of the ego. So we are dete detecting love in, a, in purest ways each time. But if we are practicing doing this, we are going to receive what, what is necessary along the way to transit any experience. Uh, the heart is guiding us to create this new earth. And although dualities could be intensified outside and it is good to not let ourselves be carried out by the information that is coming from the outside, um, what matters is that the, the, in, the, the reality that we are experiencing, the inner reality in the, in the external reality, is uh, influenced by the way we are observing it. So we are here, we commit, we, we did a commitment to, to do this planetary transition, integrating 
step by step what we are transiting with love. And certainly there are <laughs> challenging moments for our egos. There are, but uh, we are not alone. Even if we have to deal with processes in which we have to be alone, we are not alone in the way there is a soul tribe in this dimension and in other dimensions too. And we have the, the power and the, the strength and the force of consciousness inside. So, well, I just wanted to leave this message today. Thank you, everyone, and see you in the next video. Ciao, ciao.